In this video, we're going to look at the count and counter functions in Excel. These are basic functions, but they're really useful ones to know and understand. So we've got a range of data here. It's just a small table with days down here. So Monday through to Sunday, and then another week, Monday through to Sunday again. And then we've got bookings in column B. Most of these cells are populated. However, there's a couple that aren't. Now let's start by looking at the count function. And what the count function does is it counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers. So let's have a look at that. So if we were to just highlight all of these cells and hit enter, we get 12. And the reason that is, is because it's counted up all of these, these two, and then all of these, but it hasn't counted this one and this one. So we've actually got in total, we've got 14 rows of data here if you include these blank ones, but it hasn't counted these, so we're only getting 12 there, which is what the count function is useful for. So it's useful to identify where there's an instance of a number across a range of cells. Now let's see what happens if we use the count function on text. So this is the text here, the different days, and if we hit enter, we get zero. And that's because the count function only works when you're counting up cells that contain numbers. So if we wanted to count these cells up, we can use the counter function. And what the counter function does is it counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So it doesn't matter if it's text or numbers, it simply will look for a cell that isn't empty. So if we do that counter, and if we highlight these cells, hit enter, we get 14. And that's because we've got 14 cells here that are all populated with something. Counter will also work on number values, so we can use that there as well. So we can do counter here and we'll get 12, but it's just worth being aware of the difference between count and counter and the limitations of count when it comes to text values. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.